We're here at the Caltech booth. I'm talking to Chad. They've got a new version of their awesome KSG. I'm going to let him tell you what they've done here. Go ahead, Chad. Thanks, Chef. Thanks for coming by. I really love the channel. All y'all like and subscribe and share these videos. All right, so what we've got this year, um, we designed a KSG for our European friends because they've got to have an overall length over there. So that's what this was intended for originally. But what we did was we looked at the gun and we thought, you know what? Let's take it to SHOT Show. We'll show it to people and let them uh, kind of give us some feedback on it and you know see what people think, see if there's some demand for it. And then we thought, well, you know what? Let's just make them. So we're going to do 5,000 of these this year. And uh, if the demand stays there, we'll go ahead and keep making them uh, for y'all. But now the, the difference between this KSG and a standard KSG, other than the way it looks, obviously, is that this one holds a box of two and three quarter shells. Really? You can put 25 shells in this mm -hmm. gun here. Uh, if you use the mini shells, you like those Aguila shells, mm -hmm. 41. So wow. that's a lot of firepower in, in, a, in a short package. So this gun is about a half inch shorter than your uh, Remington 870. And it holds, obviously, a lot more ammo. But it's got the same downward ejection, uh, same uh, you know, double-fed uh, two magazines, mm -hmm. your selector switch here, same safety trigger. All the components are exactly the same. Uh, we'll be doing a, a heat shield uh, similar to this, but uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and do like an m -lock style mm -hmm. heat shield so you can actually put uh, attachments, flashlights, things of that mm -hmm. nature on there. It will come out of the box with the m -bus sights and also the vertical grip. So this is the way the gun's going to come out when you open it up in the box. Yep. Are these in production now? Uh, we are starting to make these now. Yeah, we've got a few at the shop, and like I said, we're going to do about 5,000 this year. Okay. And go ahead. Yeah, MSRP is 1,400. And what's your website? Keltechweapons.com. Right. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, brother. I'm sitting here in the Browning booth with Aaron Cummings. He's got a really interesting version of their X-Bolt rifle. I'll let him tell you about it. Go ahead, Aaron. Okay, this is the X-Bolt Pro. So what uh, it has a second generation carbon fiber stock, which means the carbon fiber is a 360 degree wrap on the stock with Cerakote over the top. Got a new spiral fluted bolt handle, bolt body. And we got Cerakote over stainless steel in the barrel. And the barrel also has a proprietary lapping process so you get a really good smooth finish. Muzzle brake, thread protector, so you're getting really a custom gun at a production price. Are these available now? These will be available third quarter this year. And what's your website? At browning.com. All right, thank you, Aaron. I'm here in the Ultimate Iron booth of Otto, and we run across some ARs and 1911s here that are different than anything we've found in this building. I'll let Otto tell you about it. Go ahead, sir. So what we do is we're making a custom 1911 that weighs 20 ounces. The frame is made out of T5 hardened magnesium. It's 35% lighter than aluminum, twice as strong. So the frame is made out of this. Then we add a stainless steel slide and all the custom components. We've got a full frame 1911 that weighs 20 ounces. Full frame for a five inch gun. For a five, five inch, inch gun, 20 ounces. Now let me switch over to the AR. Like I said, the T5 hardened magnesium that nobody else uses is much better than any of the grades of aluminum. So we make the upper and the lower out of the hardened magnesium, and we also make the fore-end, the stock, the rail system, whatever you want to call it. Now T5 hardened magnesium, when we coat these, you put this in an oven at 300 degrees, you turn the oven off, you can take this out with your hand. That's how well magnesium dissipates the heat. So, 
you have a lighter, stronger rail system, dissipates heat better, stronger, lower, stronger, upper, and then in the next phase we're going to start machining uppers where we put T2 hardened steel dowels so that when the bolt runs up and down it won't wear out the upper, it's going to run against the stainless, track, right? it's good, it's not on a track, mm -hmm. it's just going to run against the dowels uh -huh. so that it's going to run against similar metal, so there's no going to be no dissimilar metal wear. So four pounds versus seven or eight pounds. Now when you add your suppressor and all your other accessories, you'll have a, a nice AR that you can handle and it won't wear you out. I want to shoot one. What's your website? UAarms.com. Okay, check them out. UAarms.com. Thank you, Otto. You're welcome. Western Performance Center booth and we're looking at a couple of interesting revolvers he got here. Go ahead and tell me about that Tony. So if you recall about two years ago we introduced a 9mm revolver and it was the Jerry Mitchell gun. We also came out with a 5 inch version in our Pro Series. Well this year we followed up with a 2.5 inch. Uh, once again it's got a titanium cylinder just like the other models so helps reduce weight if you're going to carry the gun. 7 shot. And you do have to shoot at moon clips because it is a 9mm. Mm -hmm. It's out of the performance center, so you get a custom action job with it. Uh, about a three and a half pound single action trigger, about a 10 pound double action trigger. Driftable front sights mm -hmm. and custom grips. Uh, pretty unique, I think it's gonna be you know, a winner this year. 9mm is a lot cheaper to shoot. More people are looking for that. Nine millimeter too. It don't lose a lot of velocity out of those short barrel handguns. It's so efficient, you know, I was worried to, for the first time I checked that the you know, barrel cylinder gap will make a difference. Mm -hmm. It don't. It, it's almost the velocity you get out of a four inch uh, yeah. uh, semi-auto out of these revolvers. It wasn't good, but a couple weeks ago you were shooting this gun. Right. It's really a tack driver. Uh, I think it's going to be really popular. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, Tony. I'm sitting here in majestic arms with Dino. You know, we've uh, talked to him before, but since I talked to him last, Ruger has come out with a new Mark IV pistol. And uh, he's got an excellent trigger system where you can get you a really good trigger pull on the Ruger Mark IV, and I'll let him tell you a little more about it. Go ahead, Dino. All right, thanks so much, Jeff. The Ruger Mark IV came out, and we moved on it quickly. We came out with a whole product line of the people, things people were going to ask us for and that they buy for our Mark III customers. We immediately made nice grips for it, extended controls, magazine release, bolt release, base plates, a reinforced, stronger magazine ejector. But the main thing is people immediately were asking me for a better trigger kit. So what we did was we came out with the master kit. We've already had it for the Mark III. We've been selling it for over a year now. We adapted, came out with a brand new one for the Ruger Mark IV. One of the things we did differently now, I did all the homework. I give you a complete packaged kit with every single part you'll need in the whole fire control package. And the other thing we did differently, our kit now allows you to either omit the magazine disconnector or maintain it. The choice is yours, whichever you want. 
My parts are machined to use both, and we package it with the bushings if you want to get rid of it, if you want to keep it. The hammer is machined to accept it. And we also now have a new disconnector bar with one small dimension that's slightly oversized that the gunsmith or customer will fit. We've got comprehensive videos teaching you how to do it. And we get that trigger down to a sixteenth of an inch pre-travel with a two to two and a half pound trigger pull. The way the Mark IV is different is you push the button in the back and you pop it open and it hinges. And this is really more akin to what you've seen on double barrel shotguns for years. But the whole thing is a double, you want that to be a nice tight lockup. And that's the whole key to a quality double or an over and under shotgun. Well what Ruger has in the right behind the hinging area the parts removable they call it a frame lug they put a piece of rubber in there and when you close it you're squeezing and compressing a piece of rubber well I thought that that could be better and I was afraid that the rubber I know is going to deteriorate and I saw it happen already and the whole upper half developed some play so what we did was we duplicated the frame lug but we call it a locking block and we're going to call this the Majestic Arms Bank Vault Locking Block and I'll turn it slow and see if the camera can see it. Instead of a piece of rubber, we got a stainless steel threaded column. It's got two locking screws, one from each side. So what the customer will do, it's a real simple thing, he drops it in. With an Allen key, he adjusts that center post until he puts nice light contact and pressure on the upper. So now when you put them together, you get that bank vault locking. And when you're happy with the adjustment, and it's perfect and you're getting a good lockup, all you need to do is take out the lug, tighten the two set screws, now you've locked up your adjustment, you're good to go for about four or five years. If wear and tear occurs with this, you just can recalibrate your adjustments and it's infinitely adjustable on down the road as the gun wears. And those are the new things that we've come up with to have here at the SHOT Show to show your viewers. They know what's your website? Majesticarms.com and there'll be comprehensive videos teaching you how to install and use the products properly. All right, thank you, Dino. Hey, thank you, Jeff. It's great to see you again. high-vis booth with Lori Yunker and they've got a new uh, set of sights you know everybody's seen high-vis sights and they work really well but they got a new option here and she's gonna tell you about them go ahead Lori absolutely so high-vis sights are great and known for their really easy interchangeability you can pop out our light pipes and change them so you can change the color um, if you lose one you can easily replace it without having to change your whole sight system now what's great is we came up with a new light pipe that has a luminous paint core so during the day it looks just like a regular high-vis sight they're nice and bright but you can pop them out and put a luminous core in there that with a little bit of light exposure it's gonna glow for more than 30 minutes mm -hmm. so it's really affordable option to give you a night site you can pop these uh, regular sites out and put new pipes in for about twenty dollars um, regular night sites cost you over hundred and fifty dollars right. so if you're not ready to invest in tritium or don't think you mm -hmm. want that this is a really great affordable option so check them out we're selling them as replacement light pipes on highvissites.com one thing I like about the highvis too you know tritium won't give you this these light pipes they show up really well in sunlight any light you're out in the woods or anything, it's going to pick up what light's out there Absolutely. and amplify it for you. So it makes them really bright, easy to see against a, a dark background like an animal or a tree exactly. or anything like that. I think compared to tritium night sights, they're a way better day sight option right. because you still have that nice color. They're going to be really bright. But then you have that transitional sight. It's going to let you shoot longer during the day as you start to lose light because they're going to start to glow. They will glow from sunlight, but a nice LED flashlight, if you hit them really fast, you can see that the center glows really uh -huh. nice. That's all it takes to charge them. So it's even a self-defense option at night. If you heard something, you could hit your sights really fast and clear your house really quickly with uh, the new luminous light pipes. And lots of color options, right? Lots of color options. You have the, the red, the green, which are really popular. And we also have white, which seem to be so incredibly bright. I mean, it's, it's awesome. When they're fully charged, they're actually brighter than tritium. Yeah. So really something you should check out. And once again, what's your website? HiVizSites.com.
All right, here we are. We've been to Shock Show. We're leaving. We've seen just about all we want to see. We're wore out. Can't hardly walk. But we're heading back home and uh, uh, present you some more videos and, and hope to see you in Atlanta at the NRA show. <laughs>